Hi, this is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop, and in this video I want to teach you about getting a Gravatar account. And what a Gravatar account does, it's free. It lets you have your picture show up anytime you leave a comment on a WordPress site. So let me show you here an example. So this is an example. These are two screenshots. This is where someone left a comment but did not have a Gravatar set up and this person did leave a comment and they had a Gravatar set up. So what this means is it's a free account. It's something that WordPress does and anytime you leave a comment on any WordPress site your photo will show up. And if you don't want your photo, you could have your company logo or a cartoon character, whatever you want. But the nice thing about having this Gravatar account, standing for Globally Recognized Avatar, is there's many other websites and services across the internet that pull from this database. So basically, you open an account, you put your photo in, and you let Gravatar know which photo you're using to associate with a specific email address. So I know this sounds a little bit complicated, but let me walk through and set one up and show you how it works. So I'm here at Gravatar.com and I'm going to click on Create Your Own Gravatar. So I'll enter my email address, I'll pick a username, and I'll pick a password and then I'm going to click on create your account. Then it's going to ask me to log in. Now I always like to log in with a username and password. You could set it up through Google or Apple. I personally don't don't like to do it that way. And by continuing you're agreeing to their terms of service. You could read about that if you want. Now notice I can't log in until I activate my account. So I have to go to my email address and activate my account. Now you'll notice setting up Gravatar is taking me to WordPress.com and this is the part that's kind of confusing. Because I teach the self-hosted WordPress which we associate with WordPress.org but in order to have a Gravatar account it's working through the WordPress.com system, so don't let that throw you off. All right, so I'm going to pause for a moment and go check my email. Okay, so I've checked my email, and I have an email from WordPress.com, and notice it says, Welcome to WordPress.com and Gravatar. You created WordPress.com account. If you're using self-hosted WordPress, don't let that throw you off. This is just what you need to do to set up the account. So I'm going to click on Activate Account. And now it wants me to log in again. So I'll put in my username and click Continue. And now it wants my password and I'm going to log in. And it shows me that my email's confirmed so I can X that out. Now here's where this gets confusing and I really wish they would make this easier. So they asked me to activate my account. I'm logged in and there's no talk about Gravatar and you're really not sure what to do. So what you want to do is go back to Gravatar.com and then now click sign in on the upper right. And when you do it's going to ask you would you like to log into Gravatar using your WordPress.com account and you're gonna say yes approve. Now finally you're in your Gravatar account you have it set up but you need to associate an image with your email address. So here's where you want to click to add an image to your Gravatar. Now, you could do it from a URL, you could upload, if you had past uploads you'd find those, or from your webcam. So I'm going to upload one from my computer. So I'm going to click Upload New. And now I want to browse to find an image of me, so I'm going to click Browse. And now I'm just going to click around my computer till I find an image. And uh, maybe I'll do this uh, circle image, and I'll click Open, then I'll click Next. 
and this is showing me a preview that's this looks fine small preview large preview if I want to crop I could crop the image it says crop your image using the dotted box below so I don't know if I want to crop like that all right so I've just done a little bit because it wants me to crop it so that's fine I'll click crop image and now what you want to do is choose the rating for your gravatar and this is where people can get confused just pick rated G so unless you're uploading some inappropriate image for some people or some websites in that case you would pick the others if you're just putting up a picture of yourself and there's nothing inappropriate about it just click G rating and click on set rating all right, so now what I've done is I have my Gravatar account associated with my email address. I could add more email addresses if I want. Let's say you have many email addresses you use across the internet and you could have, I could add other images. So you can have different email addresses and different images. So maybe you use one as a company logo. So sometimes you're responding on the internet you might want to have that use it with your company logo or whatever so if you want to keep it simple just one email address and one photo and you're done so now that I've set up that new email address I'm gonna test it out here by leaving a comment and you can see that there are various people with different comments here on this article so I'm going to leave a comment on this blog post and you'll see how my new gravatar with the circle shows up and I'll post the comment so I used my new email address that I set up so I could do this video and I see that it's working now if you do this and it doesn't show up right away that is common sometimes it takes a little time for gravatar to sort of percolate across the internet but this is showing my square image for my business email address that I set up long time ago and I had a square picture for this demo I decided to do this round image and just by the way whenever you leave a comment on WordPress it's often awaiting moderation but that's not the point of the video the point of the video was to show you how to set up your gravatar.com account you set this up once you can log out you never need to think about coming to this account again and your little image will follow you around the internet so whether you leave comments on your own blog or other people see these people have set their gravatar up and she was testing hers out so whether you comment on your own blog on other people's blogs and it works for lots of other systems and services across the internet where you are leaving comments so super easy you can just log out and not think about this again because you've got it set up so if you can just um, watch this video multiple times if you need to set up your gravatar.com account and then never worry about it again. This is Christina Hills from the website Creation Workshop.